channel if you are new here I'm Noemi and today I am going to share with you a little IKEA hack that I discovered today I had this flower box for a while and um, I really liked the look of it and especially the shape of it but since we moved and we changed a little bit of the style of our home it didn't go so well with this design so I decided that I wanted to add some white color to it and it's a more crispy fresh looking to it and I just used a tape instead of the painting I find that it was faster especially because at one I didn't have paint at home and the second when I started to just put on the tapes as a uh, guiding to paint the, the box I discovered that actually covers really nice and gives a nice pop of color and then I decided just use a tape nothing else so if you want to do the same thing I just use a regular tape that is used um, while you use a water color on your paper and you just cover the area where you don't want to get paint and, and you don't want to curl up your paper but um, it's kind of like a washi tape and and uh, but you can buy any kind of tape and if I remember well um, once I saw at Walmart they have a tons of selection for this decorative tape like some of them has some flowers on it and different colors so you can go with your own style and your own likes what color you decide to do it but tapes are actually not a bad thing to decorate with and it was really fast like I, just a couple of minutes it took and I ended up with a fresher looking updated flower box and this is what I wanted to have so let me show you how I did it So here's a little quick DIY that I just did. So this was the basket that was hanging from uh, in the living room in the other house. And I just really wanted to add some splash of a color and I was thinking to paint it. But however, I don't have any paint at home. And then it came to my mind that I'm an artist and I have a washi tape. <laughs> So I just use um, this one usually I use um, just to use it on the side of the paper so when I paint it doesn't curl up and uh, you can just remove it easily. So if I don't like it I can just take it off but I pretty much liking it. I mean it turned out as I wanted to. I think it's got a more fresher look that way than just the empty one and it's so easy. I mean it's got this little dots here they just uh, put it together and I just use this as a guideline and I just quickly measure it like this and I'm just going to put right where it starts and I just press it over and on the end I'm just taking it off since it has a different angle if I would just wash it that way it would be not straight because of the shape of that um, pottery and um, yeah so this is one side and I'm just doing one side at the time and the next one will be I'm going to skip so with this one I started here and I'm just going to put it on the next one right there so this is really nice that I don't even have to measure it because this can guide me all the way through there you go this actually is faster than painting. I was thinking to put this over so I can paint, but why not just leave it this on and I don't have to paint then. Next one we'll go here. See how easy and fast it is. Oh, 
for the banging on the background, um, my husband Joat is finishing the floor in the playroom. I am so super excited, but it's been a lot of noise in the background that you can hear. And see, I'm already done with almost with one side. I think I'm going to put one more paint, one more stripe on the end, right here. There you go. Okay, you guys, somebody has to stop me. <laughs> I just put a tape over this little pot and now I don't think it needs a pot. It looks cute that way. And then I used some tape uh, on the end of the table legs because I always wanted to have those dip uh, painted. It's called a dip painted um, when on the bottom it's kind of white, but uh, the rest of them it stays the wood as is but um, I think that tape worked out just as well as I would have painted but if I get bored of the design I can just take it off and I can have back the original one down below in the comment and make more videos about ideas that I have as I decorating our new home and for today thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video thank you bye